So, Batwoman. <laughs> Batwoman, uh, the wokest of the woke shows, um, ruined the character of Hush in like episode one or in like episode nine of, of Batwoman. Uh, that was during the Ruby Rose run. This show should have never made it past one season, given that Ruby Rose left the show uh, and carrying it on with a character that was not comics canon was always a bad idea. And when you look at the numbers, like it's really funny. Like when you look at the numbers that the show does, Tim does that on like an average night with like far less overhead. Um, well, remember, Tim is bigger than CNN Plus. This is true. RIP. So it's uh, after. It Oh. Will you explain to me what this is? It's a very bad CW superhero show um, starring Javicia Leslie, who's actually a fantastic actress. Mm -hmm. It's just, it's the CW and they haven't really made a good show for superhero stuff since like the early seasons of Arrow back in like the mid 2000s. Um, what about that one that Jared Padalecki is in? Is uh, that, that was super, well, he was in Supernatural. Mm -hmm. Um, that's Do you know why I know his name? Because he was on Gilmore Girls. Because he was on Gilmore Girls. <laughs> so uh, basically this show was uh, not, it's not good. It wasn't good. It was never going to be good. None of the later shows were because they got increasingly more agenda driven uh, with the writing. Uh, even Legends of Tomorrow, which did go that way, still had better writing than this did. And that got canceled as well. This all connects into the fact that CW, uh, these are DC characters. DC is Warner. Warner is Warner Discovery. Warner Discovery is David Zaslav, who is currently slicing and dicing his way through the corporate budget. He's uh, got a and, machete and he's just going through the jungle. Yes, yeah, that is exactly what he's doing. And if you are the weeds of like not profitable material, you <laughs> are about sliced. you are getting sliced out of the budget. Babe. So uh, I, I do feel bad for her. I, I do think that she pandered heavily to the to the woke demographic. That's fine. That's her business. Should have pandered but, to Scientology. <laughs> then it would have been fine. Uh, so if you look at the ratings here, this is for the last season. Uh, we're not seeing very anything really that there's only a couple of them that break the 500,000 mark uh, for a network television show with you know very uh, granted it's CW and that's bl well below average still it's but a you know, market it's as much yeah. it's a much smaller market but I would argue that if you looked up any of the YouTubers who would do like hate watch reviews of this show, they're, they're getting more views. They're probably getting more views and far more entertaining most of the time. I, I literally watched some of my original favorite like uh, culture YouTubers be driven insane by this show and how bad it was that you kind of saw, saw them kind of slowly losing their sanity. Like every time the show would get renewed, they'd kind of like have to cry and be like, I have to keep doing it. I, I never saw it, but was this very heavy handed yes. with ideological yes. stuff? Uh, okay. Even like, how does this your make audience? you guys feel about the whole like get woke, go broke theory? Cause I feel like it's not always true. I don't think it's true for them. I, I think it's like, easy to make that joke, but I think for the most part, yeah. these industries have subsidized that type of yeah. Yeah. This so would much. be a cherry picked example of that, but yes. I don't think it actually stands Perfect. in the real world. I, yeah, I think it's hard to calculate. So this is on what season? You were saying you season thought- Season three. It, it should have been canceled after season one when so like, Ruby, Ruby Rose left. Mm -hmm. um, so basically, uh, this is the show where- Why'd she leave? She was uh, like, this is, I'm having a bad time. She got <laughs> injured. It was bad for her career. This is the like. She could see it was, it was a sinking a, ship and she was like, I yeah. have a headache. I have to go home. Yeah. Uh, and, and it was always funny We've too. We've all been there. Ruby she's Rose. like, she's like five foot nothing and like even skinnier than the average five foot nothing who beaks up like six foot mm -hmm. tall people. So it never looked realistic anyways. Uh, but this is the one that had the, in the very first ad for the show, it said, because basically Batwoman in the show like steals Bruce Wayne's technology. Uh, and his stuff, and then says like that suit will be perfect once it fits a woman, and you just knew where it was going to go from the, that was in the that was in the promo material in season one, so you knew where it was going to go. It was always going to be that way. They she uh, it. This is like the weird. Why did she do that? Because that's just women. Because you need an excuse it's, in the show the patriarchy. Yes, uh, Bruce Wayne in the in this version, Bruce Wayne is gone and isn't there to protect Gotham, but she is. It's so also she steals his stuff. How does she get? She's to his, it? Well, she's related to him. Uh, How? In, uh, uh, niece. Uh, I, I believe she's his niece. Um, okay. Ooh. The, uh, this sucks. I've never <laughs> seen it. I already don't like it. Um, <laughs> so this got three seasons, and then Ruby Rose left, and then we have because Ruby actress. Rose played Kate Kane, which is a different character than who Javicia Leslie took over as, which is like uh, Ryan Wilder is the name of the Kate 
the character in. It's like they even did a thing where they brought back Ruby Rose's character, but like not Ruby Rose because she's like what? wouldn't do the show. So oh they did, like, had another actress do it and had pretended to be like uh, her face was disfigured. It's like it's just Amazing. the most ham fisted writing you've ever seen. It's heard. like kind of a superhero thing. It's kind of a soap opera. It's well, all those shows are the are soap opera. This is just heavily, heavily ideologically based soap opera, which is even worse. Um, so it's it's really bad, and you, a, a lot of it is like uh, characters will like do bad things and be um, they'll be like expected to be like given leeway because they're uh, LGBTQIA plus. Uh, like so, it's really funny how bad the writing is. Like it's in the hands of a good writer who knows how to write with nuance, a show like this could absolutely work. Uh, the, the character's orientations doesn't matter. The character's skin color doesn't matter. If it's got good writing, this show did not have good writing. So that's, uh, that's their own fault. Uh, and then I, I, most of the things I saw were people celebrating it. I don't celebrate anybody losing their job, but yeah. it, it is kind of a life comes at you fast. You should have seen this coming type thing. They had like their own fan campaign where like get the show renewed, but it's just and it's actually all the writers who are like let us still keep a paycheck. Yeah, basically. So, uh, which I sympathize with. Yeah. It's oh no, it's insane. Like that I don't is sort of the nature of TV shows. Yep. So three seasons on a show seems. You know, there are, I've always heard that there are so many things that never make it even like into development like that, right? Yeah. Like it's had a good run, maybe just let it go. Yep. So and I don't know if it's had run. No, because I don't know if it's had a good run. It, it has run, and now it it's run. time for it to stop. I don't celebrate any of the cast members or workers losing their jobs. Uh, but that's a nicer person than us today. But you know, life comes at you fast when, when you when you don't. Uh, that's showbiz, that, baby. That, exactly. So <laughs> please make that the tagline for your show. Now here's <laughs> an example. Voice I love it. Here's an example where you can do something like this and make it work, and that is they're they're making a spinoff of the John Wick franchise called Ballerina, based off of uh, characters that are in development <clears throat> from that world. Meaning that it's a female assassin character. Are you flipping a sequel, another sequel into this? Yes. Don't think I didn't it's notice that Aquaman Two was a, a sequel. It's a spinoff, not a sequel. Uh, so Anna De Armas, who's extremely popular right now, and uh, John Wick, which is so far made nothing but good movies they have yet to fail at least as far in my opinion none of their productions have lost uh, they've made increasingly more money and the movies have gotten though increasingly more ridiculous are still very very watchable especially if you just like kind of uh, fun violent entertainment which i do uh so it says uh, anna Darmus is set to star in the upcoming john wick spinoff titled ballerina uh lionsgate used the presentation at used their presentation at cinemacon to reveal the new details about the neo-noir thriller this is also the same franchise that's doing the continental based on the assassin hotel that's created in this in this universe mm -hmm. and it's got mel gibson in it who is proving once again that he is uncancelable. He's also playing a character named Cormac, which might be the most John Wick franchise name ever. Cormac is such a good name. It's a great name. So it says, if you're thinking about naming a child in the next two years, please use the name Cormac. <laughs> Fans are already buzzing, expressing the knives out and No Time to Die star was the perfect choice for the lead role. Uh, while others commenting, yes, her scenes in Bond, yeah, she was. She had fairly a good she amount a Bond of- girl? She I don't recognize her from Bond. I recognize her from Blade Runner 2049. 2049. Yep. So she, she's- That's pretty cool that you like know her from a couple different places. She seems like she's- had I liked her in that. I liked her blonde or her uh, blue hair. Yep. So, uh, so we'll see where this goes. If there was a franchise right now that I would have faith that they could make a character, like the traditional, like uh, people here, female assassin led franchise, they're going to roll their eyes now because of the oversaturation in the markets. Stahelski and the people that make the John Wick movies are probably the one group of people right now that can actually pull this off and there not make an it feel. There is an oversaturation of that? Oh yeah. Uh, the 355 uh, Atomic Blonde off the top oh, of my you head. Know better than me. Um, like, I'm and, kind of sold I just based on the titles. Criminals. Peppermint. Sorry. Real ones, not not fake ones peppermint female action star has been shoehorned for the last several years and it, it never comes off as authentic if you, if they had gina carano doing those roles somebody who's physically looks the part that makes sense but a lot of times it, it just doesn't with the people that they hire to do these roles and it always comes off as like uh they're beating up people twice their size in ways that don't make sense right. uh it doesn't come off as natural or well written stahelski uh, the dudes who make the John Wick movies are the people that I would trust to be able to do this and make it work. Mm -hmm. So we'll see where that goes. Oh, did you know Dolly Parton is going to take her award? Is going to? I specifically did not open the link when you sent it to me because I was so psyched about I it. I knew you'd be happy about this. Uh, she's anything th to talk about Dolly Parton. Sometimes you know. I told you she loves Dolly Parton. I it, it's unexpected that you're a Dolly Parton fan because you're not Southern. I went to like. Are you in like, a country lived in music? Texas? I. Uh, 
I'm not particularly into country music. You're just into Dolly Parton. Dolly Parton is cool. She's an interesting lady. I know not everyone will love her, you know, outlooks on things. But, like, to me, she's just, like, a fun American cultural icon. Have you been to her theme park? I would love to go. She wants I, to go to Dollywood. I pitched recording live from Dollywood for no <laughs> specific reason other than I want to go. Turns out I should just go by myself because I want to. Uh, so I need, lame. You're a writer. I need help. What's a mensch? A mensch? It's like a... Uh, like not so good guy why m-e-n-s-c-h yeah it's it's yiddish musical mensch dolly pardon looks after her employees Am I at wrong? Her, that doesn't seem right doesn't seem right to me otherwise this article is just Instantly backhand insulting just, her a uh, person of high honor or dignity okay i'm okay. like totally off now if we were yiddish, talking though, about i am right wench are you like a yiddish expert Okay. Musical mensch Dolly Parton looks after her employees at her theme park, spent money on vaccine research to fight COVID-19, initially declined the chance to be in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, and now, out of the goodness of her heart, has decided to accept the historic honor. I love the idea that she's so far above the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame that she's throwing them a bone mm -hmm. by letting them put her in their Hall of Fame. I just think this whole dynamic's weird. They're like, we're going to put you in Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, which I thought was a little bit of a reach, but okay. Like, <laughs> Why I is it a reach? She's not really rock music, is she? Well, I mean, they put people that are not rock music. Yeah. Guitar. They are like the Oscars of places to put things. Like, it seems like they're just trying to stay relevant. I get you. Yep. Then she was like, no, thank you. I declined. And she's declined other... Have we, have we talked about this before? If you heard this rant? You know, she's declined statues that Tennessee has wanted to put up with her. She does, I didn't know that. She's a really serious literacy program for children. And she's, mm -hmm. you know, she's... I, I respect it. Like, she's not necessarily in it for the accolades. She does it because she wants to. Um... She turned down the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Then the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame was like, no, we insist and we'll do it anyways. And now she's like, well, okay, I'll they, like, accept it. They threatened her. They're like, like <laughs> I feel like something must have gone on behind the scenes. They're like, we need this if we, if you don't, If you don't accept this award, we're going to put you in anyway, but misspell your name. If you don't accept this award, you're still getting it. We don't need your consent to give you an award, I guess. And we're going to make a bigger deal of, out of it if you don't accept it. Yeah, it's weird. Like, yeah. I, don't, I don't totally understand why they were like, no, but we insist. It she seems just, so, did they assume she was just trying to be polite? Or did they assume... By decline? I don't know. They're like, we really need your star power right now. We're, I or would, like, are they insulted that she was like, no, I don't want to? So she previously bowed out of consideration in March, but today says in a new interview with NPR's Morning Edition, she is back in for it. The, the hall refused to remove her from the ballot. What if she didn't get elected? Like, <laughs> like, also, like, are are you allowed to do that? Like, be like, nope, you're staying on. She doesn't want this award, and they're like, well, too bad. Too bad. Yeah. I it's would just weird, say because, like, with the Oscars, you submit your thing, but yeah. with this, it's just like you have to. It would be like, like, like if you had like a company that nobody liked, and you started holding an award show and started threatening people to like, I'm going <laughs> to nominate you for an award from my company, or else. I just don't get it. Like, well, I guess they're not used to people turning down this yeah, high they, they honor. Like to do. Says, I would just like to say thanks and I'll accept it because the fans vote. It was always my belief that the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame was for people in rock music. I found out it's not necessarily that. But if it, uh, but if Dolly they and I are on the same page. I know, right? <laughs> but if they can't go there to be recognized, where can they go? And I, and so I felt I was taking from someone that might have, that maybe deserved it, certainly more than me since I never considered myself a rock artist. But, but you're a rock star in the real world, Dolly. And that's what I really like this response. Like, I don't really understand what I am doing here. And I but feel okay. like someone else should be here. <laughs> but then you're you. gonna make <laughs> I found out since that this is like not necessarily it's called the Rock and Roll Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. But Gordon Ramsay won one, so yeah. it's fine. Wait, really? No, I'm just kidding. Okay. Well, it's just kind of, I would believe I would, it if you said yes. I would like to nominate Gordon Ramsay for the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Just the place that gives out awards for no specific reason. <laughs> Maybe you ha somebody has to have referred to you as a rock star sometime someone in your life. Someone just has to say, like, who is cool? So this is the thing. The fans vote, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. But she doesn't want the award. So do her fans vote for her anyways? It might be rigged in her favor already. That's they why they're like, like, no, you don't you understand. You can't draw Well, now also now, if she doesn't get elected, she can't get mad. Because okay. right. like, I love you keep saying elected. Like, uh, selected. Okay. <laughs> well, <laughs> like she's campaigning. I'm like, it's even better. <laughs> selected. I'm like, it even better. <laughs> if it was like some, we have like all these political people. <laughs> vote Dolly. And then the Republican Party is like, we're going to nominate this guy. And they're like, no, we don't want to. <laughs> and then the party is like, we insist that you become the president. Can you imagine? The president of the Rock and it's Roll It's like Hall the fame. most successful writing campaign of all time. That's perfect. That's what she should do. Have a write-in uh, campaign to be guys, thanks for having me on. part like, of I'm the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. I can tell.
Okay, so, so if she does not get selected, can she even get mad because she didn't want to be in anyway? She can't get mad. Well, and that's the thing. Do I'm I'm legitimately curious. Like, if your fans support her, do they vote for her anyways because this is their lady? Or is it more in line with her wishes to not vote for her and vote for someone who, I don't know, actually performs rock music? I guess that's up for you to decide. She should make a, a rock so- stand. She Are should- you going to vote for her? I, like, I feel like I like her from an anthropological standpoint. I do listen to some of her music. Anthropological standpoint. <laughs> I She's never, kind of a fascinating study. In- I, I, what? I think the show has to be over again. Uh, okay. You can do it. <laughs> <laughs> I'll go into depth about it one day, but like, I really think that she's an interesting person, and like, I, I, I would. You just I, won't vote for her. I didn't. I didn't realize that I was so <laughs> dedicated to her cause that I am tapped to vote for her. I didn't realize this is my responsibility. <laughs> Perhaps someone who can actually name any of her albums should vote for her. But that's just me paraphrasing this uh, explanation she gave the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. You ready for the last thing we're going to talk about? I don't know, man. What a show! This <laughs> well, has you been. better be. Angelina Jolie is in Ukraine. Discuss. Because where else would she be? You know what I, I mean? Uh, at first, I thought the angle of this was going to be like mocking Angelina Jolie for like no. making kind of a disaster tourist moment uh, out of herself. That's I'm, kind cool. of how I initially took it. But, but let me para- but she's trying to help people. Let me paraphrase this. Can I have the honor of paraphrasing this article yes, for anyone, okay. you know, listening at home? Actress Angelina Jolie, who's obsessed with UNICEF, spotted in a Ukrainian coffee <laughs> shop in a spectacular baggy grout fit. For those who don't know, a grout fit is a fully gray outfit. She is out and about, and some kid who probably doesn't know who she is can't recognize her. They She's mentioned that out? in the article. Yeah. A grout fit. Okay. Like, I, why is she there? Can't be for any good reason. But I guess Angel, like, that's how crazy this conflict's gotten. We've got to had to send in Angelina Jolie. We're bringing out the big guns. Is she going to adopt a bunch of kids? In one of the medical institutions, she has visited children who suffered from a missile strike by the Russian military uh, on the... I don't know how to pronounce it. She wants to be Princess Diana so badly. Children don't even know who Angelina Jolie is. I guess she was in Maleficent. They should get Olivia Rodrigo out there. (laughs) Yeah. Somebody... Spoken from the mouth of a... They're like, I never saw... Dixie D'Amelio. They're like... Actually, no, this is crazy. Sorry. They have no idea who she is. The kids are just like, I never saw Gone in 60 Seconds, and I'm not a huge fan of, uh, what was it, Look, Girls Don't uh, Big Girls Don't Cry, right? Or, or Boys Don't Cry. Kim Kardashian, boys Don't Cry. Send in Kim Kardashian and Northwest, and we'll cover all our bases. Yes. If you look at the kids' faces, they're like so confused. Like they literally who? don't know who she is. Yes. Um. So, uh, how I'm do just you... saying, she wants to be America's Princess Diana, like visiting Why? the Nation. Because she wants to be Isn't an elegant. Isn't the first lady's job anyway? <laughs> she, you would think, right? But no, we can't send her. Our we celebrity send... culture is just so like topsy-turvy. It doesn't make any sense. Jolie is a United Nations special envoy for refugees, but uh, I don't know how to pronounce that name. A head she's of, qualified. That yes, makes sense. Uh, head, head of global communications for the UN High Commission for Refugees. High Commissioner? That's just... Okay. Uh, the thing Jolie... is, she just wears a nice baggy sweater and has great skin and, and they're like fit. you would look great looking sympathetic next to something it says said jolie traveled to the region in her personal capacity and that her unhcr has no involvement in this video so it's not uh diplomatic it's just her like i'm gonna go be in a war zone because reasons she uh, also went to yemen last and what I'm saying is, like, I didn't see anything in the article saying that she was there bringing food and supplies. No. That didn't say that she, Did she was. Donate uh, to anything I'm or... assuming she donated money. She just her graced time. them with her presence, even though none of them have any clue who she is. They're like, didn't she you doesn't see... speak their language. This doesn't make any sense to me. I love the kid on the phone in the in the like, Daily Mail article who's like, I don't know who that so is. So embarrassing. Uh, what is she doing? I mean, <laughs> look. <laughs> I, <laughs> I can, yeah, like, I don't know how how much risk she's actually in being there. Uh, like, I don't know what her contacts are in these regions. I know that by drawing attention to a place like that, she's, like, letting people know that there's a lot of people uh, in one area. That feels like that could that be a security risk if we're, to me. You know, in the middle of a war. Yes. Uh, I don't know how popular Angelina Jolie is in the... Like, if she's, like, one of those celebrities who's, like, you know, they're they're huge in... in there are in some, Brazil. Yeah. Right. There are some celebrities that, like, just... Blow like up in one area. Con- right, I get that. I don't know. That, I didn't know her market was Ukraine, especially Ukrainian children. 
It yeah. seems literally weird. Don't know who she is. Now, if it said went to visit a, a, a Ukrainian middle-aged man's club where a bunch of dudes my age or like older are at, then maybe they would know who she is. But I don't think a lot of the kids. <laughs> I mean, maybe theoretically, if they saw Eternals, which is like a Marvel movie that came out last year that she was in. Uh, no, the thing is, no. He like, said, "Why not just send financial assistance?" I know yeah. she probably has done so, but her visit will more than likely just be an inconvenience. Imagine all the logistics, manpower, and security to keep her comfortable and safe. So unnecessary. That's what, that's what I'm saying. I don't know how much she's spending on security around her, but it's like I would be now if they were like there was she requested no photos be taken. I might, I might be more because she's humble so she's just photos. doing this for the kids <laughs> i would i might but then be strategically there was just one where she looked polished and put together at a you know coffee shop it just uh it's just i don't know i don't know what to say to stuff like this like i want to give them the benefit of the doubt and say like look they're That's trying but nice. i'm asking what is she trying to do is she bringing supplies is she bringing aid is I think she she's try it's like i mean i think it's to be like america is supporting you guys look our one of our big celebrities is here you know gracing you and uh, being sympathetic like i think it's just like, to show Should've got pete davidson to go down <laughs> i mean i i think mary's point is totally valid like yep. if you're building a children visiting a children's hospital you should get someone they actually know right or be in character as somebody all know. of their moms are probably excited but she, like right yeah she could have gone as maleficent that might have been kind of interesting that would be a little terrifying, terrifying. you guys are also stressed out pete davidson would have had those kids running and screaming he would have we weirdly familiar with them like too soon <laughs> Uh, no, I, I, I'm not surprised that we've reached this point, but also Angelina Jolie miscalculation. Sharing a clip from the Maleficent star on her Instagram stories, journalist Maya, uh, I can't pronounce that last name, I, hope, I apologize, wrote, as reported to the Daily Mail, nothing spe special, just, uh, what is the name of that city? Is it Liev? Is it like Kiev, but pronounced differently? Yes, like, okay, I don't but, know, but you should uh, say it like I that. Just Lviv, maybe? I just went to have coffee, just Angelina Jolie. Ukraine is simply supported by the whole world, she continued. See, In the footage, uh, which has since been shared further on Twitter, Jolie appears to sign her autograph before continuing through the coffee shop. So maybe she just, maybe she really likes that coffee shop. And really she's had been a there before. Like, and I have like, been I craving an iced latte in Liev. Early. That's the thing. Like, if this was a stunt to like be like, you should support Ukrainian small businesses. Like, like that would make that a little mean? bit of sense, but also not really. I'm gonna go fly over to Ukraine and support their restaurants. It just seems weird and irrelevant. Like what? <laughs> she has the money to do it. I don't understand. Yes, I don't either. <laughs> like, uh, but that grout fit though. That grout fit. I'm gonna be using that term. Brett, now. are you tired of us already? I'm, How, I'm, how's your Monday recording go? Uh, Brett's I, had it. I'm just, I, I, I'm over. Brett was like, please come on the show, and now he's like, never again. <laughs> so I just, I don't know what to say about this other than like, uh, I'm just over it. I just, the, the virtues. I, I guess if I was to say like, at least it's like the ultimate virtue signal. If I had to, to like, as somebody who hates virtue signaling, at least I can, I can reward. So I can like appreciate somebody who goes all out for their uh, empty, vapid virtue signal that means nothing. I just think we're in the middle of very complicated conflict there. Like. Angelina Jolie, I guess the UN sent you, but it seems like a strategic. The UN didn't no, send her. They, they didn't send her. They didn't. So they're just throwing around her UN title, which she has for I don't know why. It says that she she's there in a personal capacity. What does that mean? See, You're it's like she thinks she can save them because that's how like elegant and graceful she is. You know? Okay, awfuls. Yeah, fluent white liberal. <laughs> it is what it is. I just, I, I just, I couldn't believe There's that. A Ooh. fluent white female liberal. Yes, that's that's her. That's uh, between that and everything else with her. I just, uh, I just, I can't. I don't know. Also, she's dating the weekend. I don't know if that matters to anybody. I don't know if that's but actually I decided confirmed. To say, well, he made a song lyric about a movie star. So she's a wall, affluent white Awful. liberal. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, well that that's all I've got today. I just that broke me when I when I read that story. I was like, of course she is. So it is what it We're is. We're both all surprised and not surprised at all. It, that's what I'm saying. Like it, it surprises me every time. Like Sean Penn going there too. I'm like, I'm surprised, but I'm like, I'm do not you think really it has, surprised. Like, do you think it has a negative connotation? Like if a celebrity can just like fly herself in, like does that make it look like the conflict is not as serious as like people say it is? Well, I mean. What kind of made everyone no, take it makes it less her look seriously stupid. is the Slapgate because yeah. everyone stopped talking about it when the Slapgate yeah. happened. To me, it makes it makes her look. I don't know if it makes the conflict. See, I feel look like I talk about it all the time, but again, like I write about it, so yeah, you're. One I, of the I'm only not ones. always a good barometer. 
Yeah. I'm saying I don't think it makes the conflict less look less serious. It makes her look more stupid to me. That's just but that's my own I think it could do both, right? My like interpretation. if it's now safe enough for celebrities to go there just to look good and have a PR stunt, like there is no way of walking that back. Yeah. Thanks for watching this clip, guys. If you want to see full episodes or follow us on social media, links are in the description below. Bye. Bye.